Hey everybody, we wanted to take uh, a few minutes and just kind of update all of our friends and family members and maybe acquaintances about our life situation. So uh, a lot of people at our church, uh, we've explained this and uh, maybe some other people from outside of our church haven't had the chance to actually speak with Jennifer and myself one-on-one -on -one and hear a little bit about our story that God is writing right now. So we wanted to take a few minutes and just give you an update. And so we are expecting our second child, firstborn, as I say. Uh, <laughs> so confusing. Yes, but uh, we're expecting our uh, first biological child in December. And we're very excited about that. Of course, uh, those who know and love our family know that we already have a child, Allie. We adopted her uh, two years ago. She just turned two yesterday and we had a great birthday weekend. It was pretty incredible. Um, but in light of the new baby on the way and in light of being parents for a couple of years now, uh, we uh, just felt like we needed to make some changes in our schedule and in our lives and in the dynamic of work, life, and, and all of that. And so um, recently, at the end of August in 2017, I stepped down from staff. Thank you. I stepped down from staff at Community Fellowship Baptist Church. And of course, uh, we had a great opportunity to speak with all of the people there at our church and explain this to them. Um, but it essentially just boils down to the reason I stepped down from staff was because of our family. Um, and Jennifer is actually going to be stepping down from staff in November as well, the weekend before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so we want to make sure that nobody thinks that we're stepping down from staff because of anything that's wrong with the church. It's kind of the opposite of that. We are so confident in the direction of, that our leadership team is taking the church right now. We're so confident in Pastor Brad's leadership. He's been there for almost a year now. Uh, we're confident in that enough that we can say, hey, our leadership isn't critical right now to the success and the health of our ministry and so we're taking this opportunity in light of our family dynamic changing to uh, kind of take a seat back and Jen why don't you speak a little bit more into like the family dynamic there and why we feel like it's it's a good season for us to to focus on our family and rest for ministry sure um, like what I shared at church a little bit of mm -hmm. that <clears throat> yeah um, we if you have ever worked in ministry and while having little ones, um, you know that Sunday mornings are, are difficult, especially if you and your spouse are, are both working or, or even volunteering in ministry um, and you're there all morning long. It's just, I mean, it's, first of all, it's a long morning for you, but it's especially long for your kids when they're little. And so, um, and Allie has done great and, you know, great people take care of her at our church in the nursery and, and beyond. Um, but it's still a, a, just a long morning for her. And, and some days are, we can tell, more difficult than others. Yeah. Um, and so we've kind of taken note of that. And then, of course, come December, you know, we will have a newborn and a two-year-old. And, and even before we found out the news that we were expecting, we, we were kind of already feeling nudged in this direction of, of um, just making some changes in our life. And so it wasn't just the news of having a second child. It, it, it was already something kind of stirring in our hearts. And, um, but, uh, but yeah, that we feel like this new season where we are not on staff will allow for us to, to really experience Sunday morning more as a family it, together experience because right now we we don't really get to arrive to church in the same car like I get there a lot earlier and then Luke brings Allie later and sometimes I don't even really get to see her until later on in the morning and um and so you know we look forward to a time where we can all worship together as a family and where you know if Allie's sick or just having a rough day we can just we can take her on home or we, you know, have the option of staying home. And, um, you know, before we kind of, um, it was hard, it was just more difficult to do that. And so, and then again, we're going to have another, another one as well. So, um, that's kind of where our hearts are and, and, um, 
you know, it's not that you can't do ministry and have kids. That's not what we're saying. But for us, and in this season, and for what we want to focus on, and and um, just what we kind of want our lives to look like, and what we feel like God is leading us to do, we, we feel like this is a good decision for us. Kind of a second side of this it means that since I'm stepping away from staff at church, it means uh, I'm going to be focusing full time on my wedding filmmaking business, and uh, I'm really excited about that. Uh, one thing you'll hear me say a lot if you follow LW Films is that my business is all about investing in marriages. And so, uh, you know, we, we really take that to heart because I believe that, you know, the marriage is the beginning of the family. And, uh, you know, ta- hear, hear us, hearing us talk about family, it's so important to us and our marriage is so important to us as well. And so we hope that we can um, not only invest in marriages through the films that I make and through just the friendships that I make with my clients, uh, but that eventually we could also start investing in families. And so we're still kind of working through that, but uh, I'm excited maybe within the next year of being more intentional about that and, uh, and letting you know more about that coming up soon. All right, and kind of the third thing we wanted to talk about in this video is adoption. Um, obviously, since we've, uh, people have known that we've been, that we are pregnant, um, that's brought up a lot of great opportunities for us to talk about you know, our, our intention of adopting and that, you know, adopting wasn't a plan B for us. Uh, it was always something we had talked about, we prayed a lot about, and it wasn't something that we thought, well, we'll adopt if we can't get pregnant or if we can't have a child of our own. And a lot of people use that kind of terminology like, you know, well, aren't you glad that you've had, you'll have a child of your own now? And they're very well in, intending, and if you've ever said that to us or said that to anyone who's adopted, uh, you know, we're, we don't think any less of you, we're not mad at you, but uh, th- we do want to encourage you to change your thinking about that and to change your paradigm. We actually believe that adoption is one of the best representations of the gospel on this planet, and we want to encourage every Christian family out there to consider adoption, uh, whether you want to adopt a baby whether you want to adopt a teenager, we've had a family in our, our church adopt a teenager this, this year, and maybe you were like them, you, you didn't even know that was an option until you heard somebody else say that. Uh, but adoption, no matter at what age, no matter what dynamic, it's a beautiful representation of the gospel, uh, of choosing somebody to love that you have no obligation to love, of choosing to invite somebody into your family that, that you are under no obligation to do, that has no right to your family. Um, but you're bestowing that love and you're bestowing those rights onto them just because you choose to. And so uh, Allie, of course, is, is just as much a part of our family as this baby is going to be. And we are going to, you know, of course, you, you say you, you love all your children differently. Um, but of course, we're going to love Allie just as much um, it, as much as, as this child. And so uh, we wanted to take a, a few minutes and talk about that. And Jen probably has some thoughts on that, too. Um, yeah, we, we, Allie's waking up from her nap, so I'm, I'm a little distracted right now. Um, we, we love the fact that our adoption came first, um, Mm -hmm. and that, you know, it, it, again, Luke said, um, we were, adoption was on our hearts from early on in our marriage, something we decided that we would do, and we, although we don't have specific plans for the future and we're taking things one day at a time and one child at a time, it's likely that we might adopt again down the road. Um, you know, again, it has nothing to do with being or not being able to conceive. I mean, obviously we can conceive, um, but we, we just, we just love adoption. We have a heart for it. And, but, um, but yeah, we love that that came first and that Allie will know, you know, she was wanted from the very beginning. Yeah. Um, and on our hearts from the very beginning. Okay, so to kind of sum all this up, if you've watched to this part of the video, you're probably somebody who loves our family and who is invested in our family in some way. And so uh, I want to give you kind of three things that maybe you can do to to support us and to encourage us during this new season of our lives. Uh, One is uh, if you are a part of our church, Community Fellowship, uh, we ask that you consider serving somewhere. 
Uh, obviously, with us stepping down, that's uh, leaving you know a few holes. Nothing dramatic. Nothing. Nothing critical that the leadership team can't handle. But uh, having a few extra people step forward and say, "Hey, I I'll serve wherever I need to." That's certainly going to help during this season of transition. And so we encourage you to do that. Um, if you know somebody who is getting married or is thinking about getting married or engaged, uh, I would be honored if you would just you know put a link to my website on their Facebook page or, or tag me in a post to them. Uh, just, you know, just a real soft sell. I would really appreciate that and they'll get a great wedding film out of it as well. And then the third thing is just uh, consider uh, adoption or consider supporting somebody who is adopting, whether that's financially, whether that's through prayer, uh, or just being a good friend and, and letting them uh, you know, talk with you about the process and kind of supporting them in that role. Uh, those are three things that you could do to support our family. And so thanks so much for watching this video. I uh, hope that we've encouraged you in some way and shown you a little bit of our heart and what's coming up next for our family. And we're excited to share that with you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye.